SpaceX is always busy working on their Starship. While they usually achieve big milestones, they sometimes face significant problems, whether during a ground test or a launch. Recently, they encountered an issue while conducting a test on their Starship upper stage, and we will talk about this in today's video. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. SpaceX is always working on multiple missions simultaneously, ensuring that as one mission prepares for launch, the next is already in the pipeline. For instance, as SpaceX gears up for the fourth Starship test flight with Ship 29 and Booster 11, they are also laying the groundwork for the fifth flight, conducting tests and assembling prototypes to maintain a steady launch cadence. SpaceX is not only preparing for the upcoming fourth Starship test flight, but they are even working on prototypes for subsequent tests. For the fourth test flight, they are using Ship 29 stacked on Booster 11. For the fifth flight, SpaceX is preparing Ship 30 and Booster 12. Ship 30, equipped with six Raptor engines, is currently in Mega Bay 2, while Booster 12 is undergoing engine installation in Mega Bay 1. This pairing is expected to follow the fourth test closely. The sixth test flight is planned with Ship 31 and Booster 13. Ship 31, after its recent repairs and additional tests, will be ready to pair with Booster 13, which is fully stacked and awaiting its mission in the back of Mega Bay 1. However, Ship 31 recently underwent a critical cryogenic proof test, which is designed to verify the structural integrity of the prototype at extremely low temperatures. This test is crucial as it simulates the conditions the spacecraft will encounter in space. However, during this test, Ship 31 faced significant challenges. Although SpaceX did not publicly disclose the specific cause, many experts believe that it was an electrical issue. The incident was significant enough to prompt immediate repairs and additional safety checks. The ship was rolled back to the high bay the very next day for these repairs. Once the repairs and additional tests are completed, Ship 31 will be paired with Booster 13. Now, it might seem like SpaceX is always facing a problem with their Starship rockets, whether during flight tests or ground tests, but you have to realize that this rocket is the first of its kind, and SpaceX is discovering the engineering challenges of such a massive rocket by testing and fixing their mistakes. While they are not inventing the concept of a rocket, Starship is unlike any other rocket ever built. Developing smaller rockets like the Falcon 9, or even the larger Falcon Heavy, didn't take SpaceX as long or nearly as many tests. Falcon 9 went through rigorous testing, but its development timeline was much shorter compared to Starship. Falcon Heavy, which is essentially three Falcon 9 cores strapped together, also achieved success relatively quickly, performing its maiden flight in 2018. What sets Starship apart is its design as a fully reusable super heavy lift launch vehicle with capabilities that far surpass those of any previous rockets. With a height of 120 meters and a diameter of 9 meters, Starship dwarfs other notable rockets such as NASA's Saturn V and the Space Launch System. Saturn V, which carried astronauts to the moon during the Apollo missions, stands at 110 meters tall and had a payload capacity of 140 metric tons to low Earth orbit. The Space Launch System, or SLS, is slightly shorter at around 98 meters in its Block 1 configuration and can carry 95 metric tons to low Earth orbit. In contrast, Starship is designed to carry up to 150 metric tons to low Earth orbit in its reusable configuration and up to 250 metric tons in an expendable version. This capacity is a game-changer for space exploration. As we all know, SpaceX has already conducted three Starship launches so far, each one showing improvements over the previous. Now they are gearing up for the fourth flight, which might be just around the corner. Like I said, the upcoming fourth test flight will involve Ship 29 and Booster 11. Both components are currently undergoing final preparations at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. The Super Heavy Booster for this mission recently completed a successful static fire test on April 5, 2024. During this test, all 33 Raptor engines were ignited while the booster remained anchored to the ground. Ship 29 has also been busy. 
It underwent its own series of tests, including a static fire test on March 25, 2024, where all six of its Raptor engines were fired. Following this, a single-engine test was conducted from the ship's header tanks to simulate engine firings in space. The timeline for the fourth flight is ambitious, with SpaceX aiming for a launch as early as the end of this month. However, a few problems remain, including the need for a launch license modification from the Federal Aviation Administration. This is necessary due to the ongoing investigation into the March 14th flight, which saw the third Starship mission successfully reaching orbital velocity before experiencing an explosion during re-entry. It's important to note that this flight has achieved new milestones, notably managing to fly for nearly 50 minutes and perform complex maneuvers that previous flights did not accomplish. What sets this flight apart is that Musk revealed they will attempt to land the Super Heavy Booster using a virtual tower concept in the ocean. This innovative approach is designed to simulate the Mechazilla Tower, which SpaceX plans to use for future landings. In this upcoming flight, the Super Heavy Booster will aim to land at a specific point in the ocean where it will simulate docking with a virtual tower. This means the booster will try to land as if there is a tower in the ocean with arms that can catch it. These outstretched arms, which are part of the virtual tower, are designed to grab the booster between them, similar to how a real tower would. It will be amazing to witness this system work for the first time, as there has never been anything like it used in rocket history. This concept is Musk's unique idea, known as the Mechazilla system. The Mechazilla system involves a launch tower equipped with large robotic arms designed to catch the Super Heavy booster as it returns from space. Musk got the idea from a combination of existing technologies and his vision for fully reusable rockets. Traditional rocket landings involve the booster landing on a drone ship or a landing pad, but these methods still require a significant amount of fuel for the landing burn. By using a tower to catch the booster, SpaceX can save on fuel and simplify the recovery process. The concept of Mechazilla involves the booster descending towards the launch tower, where the robotic arms would move into position to catch it. This requires precise control of the booster's descent and the ability of the arms to secure the booster safely. The system aims to grab the booster by its grid fins, which are the aerodynamic surfaces used for steering during descent. Once caught, the booster can be quickly prepared for another launch, significantly reducing the turnaround time between missions. By developing a system that can catch and reuse boosters rapidly, SpaceX hopes to reduce the cost of access to space. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.